Sheffield Wednesday, Michael Smith. Injury wasn't what we thought it was. Hi guys and welcome to this video. You could like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'd much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. So, during the um, BBC Sounds in, uh, um, interview documentary kind of thing that they've been doing with uh, Rotherham manager Vaughan, he's talked about Michael Smith having uh, it having injection for toe injury kind of thing and saying that's one of the reasons why people were thinking, okay, that's why they're out now. But Darren Moore had made it clear that it has nothing to do with a toe injury at all. And it's a niggle that he carried throughout the summer. He picked it up at the back end of the season and didn't think anything of it. And it's one of those injuries which I don't know if it gets seen on a uh, medical when you're doing it. Not sure. But and it goes on to say, when he joined, we thought, thought over the course of the summer, a ref would do it, but it never moved. It would, He could have played on, but it was holding back a bit. We we took him out to get it right. He's at the final part of it now. Depending on how he feels and what the Simpsons has from it, we'll see how the game come and when he might be involved. Right? So, uh, let's go to where it is. Um, it was something to do with his... It was something to do with thigh and the build up of fluid in his thigh, and it just hadn't shifted. And it was the one, these things happen, they do happen. It wasn't a toe injury. So we're all going, oh, it's a toe injury, he's having injections. It wasn't. It was in his thigh, just sat in the belly of his thigh. There was a pocket of fluid when he joined and thought it could, it could move, and it hasn't. So this makes sense. Take him out of it, out of situation. While he's got the little injury and the niggle of a thigh injury, makes more sense. At least it's not what we thought it was, which was like a broken toe when we were struggling to get it set right. And this makes a lot more sense with the time of it. It looks like he'll be back, back soon. He's on the grass. He's back tra training, which is good to see. Uh, he'll get some work done in the next 40 hours, and, and he said they'll see where he has. See where he's at, sorry. So we'll see what happened, but it's good to know it wasn't uh, the toe injury that he had at Rotherham and no injections. It's just some sort of fluid in the muscle that's not gone. So let's see what happens, and hopefully he'll be back raring to go very soon. <laughs> 